Okay, so let's carry on and talk a little bit about the steady line. Uh, and Pierre, we're not new to the anti-vibration systems. We already have turning, milling, boring systems with the anti steady line anti-vibration system incorporated. So, so what's new in this release? Well, you're absolutely correct, Peter. Um, we are actually building up on this experience that we have built along the years with vibration damping solutions, both in standard and as custom tooling, custom tooling solutions. This year we released bigger sizes of turning bars, diameter 60 and diameter 80. And these are to, these are to complement the existing sizes that we have, yes? Yeah, absolutely correct. We had uh, until now diameter 32, 40 and 50 bars in 6, 8 and 10 times D. So we know enlarge this range to offer new solutions to our customers. Okay, and, and maybe we could explain. This is the bar, obviously, that, uh, that I understand. And, and exactly what have we got here? We already have in the range an extensive range of turning gears with the GL connection. And in this case, we didn't want to create a new connection. Mm -hmm. We wanted our customer to be able to use the equipment he already has. So we have decided to reuse the GL50 connection and to adapt it on our new diameter 60 and 80 bars okay. through this adapter that you can see here. So the, so the GL head is our original head. This is We've got extensive range of these GL heads available. Uh, and the new head will take that GL, GL head, yeah? The new bar will take that GL head. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And we're using the, this adapter with the GL connection. Mm -hmm. You remember, very precise, very strong, mm. easy to use, fast to exchange one, shim, one head to mm. another. And on the other side, we have reused the BA connection that we have been using for several years now okay. on custom tooling solutions. Okay, so as we can see now on the movie we have, that it's a really easy to use, very rigid system, yeah, in Absolutely. compact. And it allows us to use our GL heads and this offset adapter to, to meet most requirements. Okay, so maybe just to summarize now on the, on the, on the main benefits for this tool. Um, Firstly, Pierre, maybe you'd like to say something about productivity. Absolutely, productivity. This vibration damping system allows us to really exploit the insert at its ma maximum capacity. So there's no compromise on cutting speed because this is a dampened system? Not anymore. Okay, that's great. Okay, and what, what, what next? We secure the process <coughs> for the customer. Mm -hmm. He knows that his operation will be done correctly. Mm -hmm. No risk of scrapping. Mm, okay, so big expensive components maybe, the risk of scrapping could be high. This system is safe and reliable. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. And then it's very easy to implement. Mm -hmm. Basically, you take it out of the box, put it on the machine. There's no oh, wow. setting, there's no adjustment, setting, tuning required. This is just a plug and play system. Absolutely. And finally? And finally, it's a problem solver. Yes, absolutely. You want to make deep operations, you are struggling because your bar is vibrating, just steady on, it will solve your problem. So thank you, Pierre, and some really exciting new products, I think, within the tooling systems range. So that's the SteadyLine uh, additions with the 60 and 80 diameter bars, and, and also the new digital boring heads from Seiko. So thank you for the information. Okay, so, so let's talk turning now, uh, you know, and importantly, what new products we've got uh, within our stationary range. Particularly today, we want to look at the new Duratomic uh, steel turning grade. Uh, Michael, welcome. Can, you, te can you, you tell us more, please? Yes, of course. What we come with is the interesting addition TP3501. TP3501. 3501, okay. making completing the chain where we have had the TP2501, the TP1501, and the TP051 that actually have taken uh, the market with, I don't know, storm. Mm. So, like, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And this, this completes our Duratomic jigsaw almost, yeah? It, it is. Now we add the full range all you need in steel turning basically 
uh, we make use of the, the use as detection that actually a lot of customers return to us and mm. value this one, reducing their cost directly. Yeah, this is really important and it's a major element in our cost savings. Yeah? I believe so, I believe so. And then, of course, also the, the Doratomic technolo technology, the basis in the, the delivery of value from Seco, basically. And this is a bedrock that we have now in our turning family. Yes. This is yes. a technology which is setting us as a world world leading turning company. Yeah, I believe so and, and we see that what we what we hear from customers all around the world that we this is something that's really premium. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. So what what are the main customer benefits? What can be deliver to the customer that's going to get that's going to mean they can optimize their machining process maybe if there are several things here but if we put that the TP351 specifically I would say one of the key things is the secured performance that you can see and get out what you expect directly in the very severe circumstances so, so this product's designed to cut in unstable or demanding situations and, yes. and be very comfortable at machining oh, in it, that area. It is, it is. And you, you get out, like as in the, in the Duratomic basis, you mm. get both a toughness addition and a performance addition in this one. Okay. That's, that's unique. Okay. Okay with this range. So that's it's coping with difficult situations without any need to compromise the cutting data. That's right. Okay. But it's also, I mean, this is uh, taking care of a variety of application, meaning that you can handle the limited speeds uh, okay. available oh, yeah. the component Maybe, or yeah, machine absolutely. or whatever. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Okay, so, so Michael, do you have anything that you could show us? Maybe a machining example with the TP3501. Of course, we have a very good example and uh, let us look. This is uh, a side gear uh, on a truck with a very massive burr or flash if you want. And then uh, some facing and uh, turning and then going back towards a uh, high feed longitudinal turning before you enter the teeth here you get another level and this is really heavy really heavy intermittent cuts and there's no compromise there on no. cutting speed at and all you even see the use edge detection there as immediate mark. Yes, absolutely, indicating that that insert edge has been used. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. So basically, Michael, let's just summarize the TP3501, please. Of course. I mean, what I, what I mean with this one, it's actually the first choice, secure performance in steel. This is something that, that anyone could appreciate, getting also the use as detection and performance in two life, if you want, or speed, reliability, and also secured level. So basically this is the really wide spectrum, including the capability in stainless steel. Fantastic. Yeah. So, thank you. That's the new TP3501 from Seco, our new Duratomic turning grade. Uh, thank you for the information, Michael. Thank you. Okay, so let's look now at milling and particularly the new products which are available in the Seco product range. Uh, today and in this session we're looking at face milling and with me today I've got Gary. If, Gary, I don't know if you'd like to say something about the new products which we've got for 2017. Yeah, absolutely Peter, thanks for having me. Um, we're going to talk today about the new R2 2088. Um, this is a near 90, 88 degree lead face mill. Um, with this system we're going to offer two insert sizes, we'll have the size 12 and also a size 16 um, insert sizes. Uh, these inserts will have two edges, um, M10 and uh, MD geometry for those. If we look at the range, we'll start first with the size 12, and on the cutter bodies, 
And we're gonna start with uh, diameter 50 and go up to diameter 160. And the corresponding imperial offering will go from two inch to six inch. Okay, so metric and imperial, yeah. Yes, and for both metric and imperial, we'll have the standard and close pitch versions available for the size 12. Okay. Yeah, so Gary, what about the size 16? Yeah, Peter, on the size 16, if we look at the slide here, uh, we start with uh, diameter 63 and we go up to diameter 160. And of course, we have the corresponding imperial range as well, where we start with a three inch diameter and go to six. Okay, okay, good. What about the insert, Gary? Yeah, let's talk about the inserts. If we look here, um, with the SNMU, we have the size 12 and the size 16. And as you can see, we offer uh, grades that are focused on steels and cast irons. And then as previously mentioned, we have the M10 and the MD13 for the size 12 and the MD16 for the size 16. Okay, great. So what benefit are these, these cutters and inserts going to bring to our customer? That's the most important thing. Absolutely, Peter. You know, if we look here, if, and we'll talk a little bit about the old system where we had, the use, we had to use wedges uh, mm. to lock the insert in. Mm. Here, um, with this improved system, we have the center lock mounted inserts. Okay. So this makes it much easier much. for the customer to make sure that they have the insert much in the right more position. more positive location, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, and much easier when you're in the machine to mm. mount the insert and make sure they're secured properly. Okay. Um, we've also, uh, we have a new material, the right. Edun material. Okay. And this is the first cutter uh, launched by Seco that's using um, a material that we don't need to nickel coat the bodies anymore. So this is, when we say Edun, this is a specialized stainless steel. Um, and we don't need to do nickel coating anymore uh, at the end uh, for okay. the appearance. So environmentally friendly. It's too. environmentally great. friendly, so it's really great. And if I can just mention uh, for the depth of cut, you know, this is a, a smaller IC insert, but high depth of cut capability. So with the size 12, we have a nine millimeter depth of cut, and with the size 16, a max depth of cut of 13 millimeter. Impressive, impressive. And do we have something to see, Gary? Have you, you maybe got a cutting movie for us? We sure do. Let's uh, take a look and, and see it in action. So Gary, what are we seeing here? Yeah, if you take a look, Peter, you can see, one, the good chip evacuation. You see the chips coming out of the cutting zone, uh, getting away from the insert quite, quite well. Um, we also see here when we have the slow motion video, you can really see the, the chip formation mm. and, and how well the chip is, is curling and coming out of the, the cutting zone. And then uh, you can see by the sound, it sounds very smooth. Mm. And we discussed a little bit or um, talked about and depths of cut below six millimeter for the size 12 and then below eight millimeter for the size 16, you have that positive geometry, nice smooth cutting action. Okay, okay, great. So Gary, maybe in a few words, you could summarize the new SNMU cutters. Sure, I'd love to, Peter. Um, you know, it's a shell mill style um, that we're gonna offer, that's one. Uh, also, the EDUM uh, material that we had mentioned. Uh, so the, we eliminated. Steel, yeah. yeah, we've eliminated the nickel coating, good for the environment, mm -hmm. and also we have a very durable um, material uh, that we're using that uh, is optimized mm -hmm. uh, for face milling. Okay. Um, we have standard and close pitch available um, for this system, so you can use that uh, to dial in or um, to maximize the productivity for the customer. Um, optimized chip spacing and the body design for good chip evacuation, like we saw in the mm -hmm. video. Um, big cross section on the insert. So even though we're using the T15 piece screw, we have a very nice uh, mm. cross section on that insert for um, nice, big durability. Strong insert. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the positive cutting rake with the M10. So that's one of the things with the M10 geometry on depths of cut uh, below six millimeter, high positive, and depths of cut below eight millimeter for the size 16. Um, so with the M10, positive cutting rake, that's, a, that's really key. And then a uh, corner radius of one millimeter for the size 12 and 1.2 millimeter for the size 16. And it's also corresponding to the wiper flat width that's integrated onto the insert. So size 12, one millimeter corner radii, one millimeter wiper flat. And then for the size 16, 1.2 millimeter corner radii and a 1.2 millimeter wiper flat on that one. Simple. Okay, so Gary, great information, thank you. Thank you. So that's the new R220 88 near 90 true face mill from Seco. So we've showed you some really great new Seco products in three products areas. This is just a sample of the many new products we're releasing our first launch of 2017. To find out more, visit us on social media, our Seco Tools website, or on our MyPages site. 
If you prefer to talk to us direct, we're out there for your service. So, so just talk to your local Seco contact and you know, thank you for watching.